वेरी गुड इवनिंग गाइस दिस साइड राहुल मगन हेयर फ्रॉम ट्रेशी कंसल्टिंग एंड टुडे ऑन 26 सितंबर 2020 वी आर गोइंग टू बी शॉट शूटिंग अ वीडियो व्हिच नॉट ओनली कवर्स वोडाफोन भारती बट ऑफ कोर्स रिलायंस एज वेल बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट और प्रोसीड आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू ऑल दैट इन ऑल द वीडियोस ऑफ ट्रेशी कंसल्टिंग देयर इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्रोवाइडेड बाय द YouTube in this description box there is a link and that link contains all the free groups which people can join we on very occasional uh, on a very often basis continue to share information on these free groups more importantly these are free groups there are no charges and on every periodic basis which is generally two weeks we continue to update the groups in the links like last week also we launched two more free groups for people and we would upgrade up, uh, update these free groups soon in this link today i'm going to be shooting a pretty important video about the research which is being done by trishi consulting group h1 desk on all these three companies vodafone airtel and jio we understand that vodafone was in vodafone is in news from the last one month because of two reasons number one is definitely the supreme court no doubt about that the conducive judgment provided by the supreme court wherein supreme court said that you need to pay for uh, pay to you need to pay the pay the agr amount in 10 years 10 years is a okay time to pay no problem compared to what would if supreme court said that you need to pay in 3 years and secondly there is a news that somewhat i have not uh, went detailed into this let it be honest but there is an arbitration case won by vodafone including 20000 crore but having said that the government made it very clear that it will consider all option including the legal remedies so expecting this 20000 crore win completely is really tough because government will definitely consider whatever the legal formalities are there so time will tell whether this 20000 crore is completely finalized or not but as of now it is a news for vodafone now since vodafone got to two good news whereby one news about agr judgment by supreme court which is confirmed another news which is around 20000 crore is not yet confirmed not completely com- confirmed i can say but this is as of now a good news for vodafone but somehow i think the bad news is on the way or if i not say bad news i will say the tough news is on the way to be precise and that tough news is that that tough news the postmaster of that tough news is none other than the lines i really need not to explain you where jio stands today according to the public information jio collected around 152000 crores from the pre sales which is also known as pre ipo sometimes and around 13000 crores from reliance retail and it has just started so cumulatively if, if i add as yet they collected around 165000 crores and reliance retail just started it will further further grow only the time will tell till what extent the investor investors those who invested in jio plus reliance retail will get how much they get out of it only the time will tell but we are not entering into this piece as yet what we wanted to enter is that reliance is flush with money they also have the competence from their platform which is jio and now they are entering into post paid market like I am a Vodafone user from the last 16 years and I am using the postpaid connection. Wherever I am in this world my number is always on the international roaming. In fact, Vodafone provided me the plan that as much as I think 48 plus countries I can go under this plan. Different tariffs from country to country but 48 countries I am always I can travel without any intimation to Vodafone. so the services which i'm getting from vodafone is absolutely beautiful i would say i have to say this but now i think if i look at the latest research provided by jeffries 
Jefferies India, who is again a leading uh, research firm in the world. They have gave a research of fiscal year 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, which is five years, which is a sufficient time. Vodafone India is having around 37% market share in postpaid market to, in 16. And till 2020, this 37% grew to around 43%, which is decent, not bad. And Airtel is uh, Airtel was around 25% in fiscal year 16 and they grew to 28%. So precisely I can say very clearly that the growth in the, uh, I would say Vodafone is much better compared to Airtel. And there is a category others, although it not made very clear who all are others, but others lost it from 38% to in 2016 to around 30% in 2020. This is the data which we received. Reliance is entering into the postpaid market. Currently they do have postpaid, but somehow postpaid is not contributing the revenue which they really wish to. Other segments are contributing the revenue, but now the postpaid is under radar. In fact, better I say postpaid plus broadband is on the radar. I really don't understand why media is not covering the broadband piece, but I understand that Mr. Ambani is having definite plans for the fiber optics also. And I think that he really wished to cover the broadband as well. Only the time will tell when the media would cover that, to be honest. But the major problem and the major research which I would like to cover is, is something which is not apparent, which is if I compare my plan with Vodafone, okay. I am getting Amazon access, I am getting Netflix access, I am getting, you know, I think maybe 200, 300 SMS in a day and around 2 GB internet in a day. What I think 90% of what I'm getting from Vodafone, I'm not using it because I watch Amazon on TV, I watch Netflix on TV, I watch, I have 250 mbps internet connection at my home so i really don't need i hardly consume more than 1 gb data in 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 a day because throughout the day i'm always on my wi-fi connection so i really consume 10 percent of what vodafone is offering and but i never ask for rebate from vodafone it is the part and parcel of the package if i not consume then that is my problem not the vodafone problem but there are many people in india those who are addicted to Netflix and Amazon on the mobile phone. In fact, Amazon, uh, Netflix is having a monthly mobile plan wherein you can use Netflix in the mobile and you can see movies and all, right? And guys, I have many friends, those who have capability to use, to see the whole movie on the mobile phone. And I sometimes surprise how come your battery is supporting you and how come you yourself is not getting bored watching the whole movie on the mobile phone itni choti si screen and you are able to see the whole movie guys what where basically what you are up to that is but one thing which our research is telling that if if reliance will come in this segment which is postpaid segment the first target will definitely be vodafone Till what extent Vodafone retaliate, only the time will tell. But one good thing is that as of now, as per Jeffrey's research, Vodafone is having the highest postpaid uh, share in the market, which is around 43%. And retaliation is must from Vodafone. It means that currently we are living in a world of digitization, wherein we are talking about OTT platform. OTT stands for over the top, which includes Z Entertainment, Dish TV, uh, Airtel Extreme, uh, you know, Tata Sky, Amazon, Netflix, Apple TV and whatnot. There are many platforms. Many are come with Amazon as a package. Many come separate like Netflix and many come on the paid charges. Exactly. Just like Disney Hotstar. My research suggests that if Reliance will come as a in a Vodafone, in a postpaid segment, I'm sure that Reliance must have made their plans for that. Reliance have to offer something which Vodafone and Bharti is not offering. And by the way, 
data is definitely not a problem for them we understand data is definitely not a problem connectivity is not a problem for them now the question is would they end up as a partnership with amazon or netflix really tough to answer now or maybe would they end up as a partnership with few players those who are not as big as amazon and netflix dish tv disney hotstar maybe other maybe z entertainment because if you look at if you open google and type the ott players in india we would get to know about several ott players in india those who are not listed but active and few like z entertainment like dish tv they are active and god knows maybe in the near future disney hotstar may also get listed we really do not know like who did thought that one day nsc and camps will come and 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 open for ipo in the tough times but they are doing it to be honest what makes me think is not what plan mr mani is offering what discount they are offering because currently as per the research jio new 339 base plan is priced similar to vodafone and similar to vodafone which is equal to vodafone and 20% cheaper than airtel which means again the pressure would come on the airtel and by the way airtel is definitely in the tough stage now now the question is should we take up a call on the listed ott platforms in india which includes dish tv which includes z entertainment and by the way z group having two one is the ott and one is the online learning platform and there are many others by the way i think if i look this apparently then i can see apparently i see that mr ambani is now venturing into postpaid segment compared to the prepaid segment where he already ventured but if we read between the lines we get to know that no this is this is not the only story the story is mr ambani if will enter into postpaid will definitely have to offer something which either vodafone and or airtel is maybe completely not offering or they are not even thought of they will offer this will surely trigger few partnerships in very near future but these partnerships would be of what kind that is really really difficult to project now but one thing is sure that partnership will trigger i am not saying that the partnership would be between reliance and d the, and them it may be between airtel and them it may be between vodafone and them so there are there is a triangle in this triangle there are three cons bharti vodafone and jio and there are many ott players in in the market some are listed some are not listed what our team is is done with is that there are few probable partnerships who are on the cards we have made a list of partnerships and we are keenly evaluating evaluating each and every news which is coming either from airtel from vodafone or from jio regarding the action which is about to start in the postpaid postpaid category in india of course the customer would be the final beneficiary because today if i pay 1500 rupees per month then i'm sure that after mr ambani venture into postpaid vodafone have to reduce the price at least by 10% maybe 20% maybe more than that customer would be the final beneficiary i myself said that i am using 10% of what vodafone is offering to me but there could be many people like me those who are using 90% of what vodafone is offering to them and if for them the price is reduced by 20% and more services as a part of the bundle then they would be more happy but at the end of the day this would surely reflect on the share price of these ott companies very soon in the market but having said that the holistic research is required because we need to do the complete research as which ott player can partner with whom and guys in fact to be honest our desk feel that there are certain buyouts can also possible buyouts means just like reliance bought tetmats reliance is currently in talks with some uk uh, player in terms of retail reliance bought future group we think that there are some buyouts who are also possible because 
partnership sometimes is not the right solution rather than doing the partnership it is quite better if i buy that company and transform according to our requirements because partnership is always little tricky subject to interpretation documentation revenue sharing and there are many hassles we have in partnership compared to what would if i buy that company but having that said we are not demeaning the existing platform of reliance existing platform of reliance is definitely very accurate and stable in nature but there is a hell lot of action that is going to get start in the postpaid segment of india and really very interesting to see how the existing leaders like airtel and especially vodafone would react and especially after two news which they got one is definitely supreme court judgment and another is this 20000 crore case that is and our desk is completely keeping an eye on this development and i'm sure that some partnerships are on the card and i think in two i think we have already made positions in two partnerships but we are waiting to have position in the third partnership let's see how it happens but i am sure one thing i'm sure of that in this covid-19 scenario when there is a hell lot of mess which is there across the globe amazon and mr ambani is on the toes and they are keeping everybody on the toes quite interesting and that is why every time whenever i get any data about the reliance i spare as much as time is possible and i try to analyze it from every angle and this time as usual i would like to complete the video with one beautiful line which is the media only put one thing which is that Reliance is entering into postpaid. What the hell, guys? Tell something which people do not know. Talk about OTT. But this is media. This side, Rahul Magan from Tejji Consulting. You know our WhatsApp nine eight one eight four eight five one double five. Have a great time. Thank you.